Hello and welcome everybody to Alpha Grappling's Luta Livre or Combat Jiu Jitsu show. Before we get started, let's quickly go through the rules. All submissions allowed. Open hand strikes only to a downed opponent. Each match, 60 minutes time limit. And a fighter could win by points, submission, knockout, or a referee stoppage. Let's get into our first match. So here we have Yanni Leka from Elite Jiu Jitsu uh, versus Ethan Weston from Resistance, right here in North London, Finchley. Both up and coming competitors. It'll be a fun match. Yanni goes for a flying armbar. Very high paced right now, high paced action. Ethan seems to be mixing up the strikes quite well. Okay, there's a strike there by Yanni. Looking for a head and arm tie up. Good head control there by Yanni. He lets go. Posting in the arms. I think both fighters are looking for inside control to take the other one down. Again, good head and head and wrist control. Yanni pulling down on Ethan's head. Both battling for good inside control. Switch step there by Yanni. Yanni is getting again looking for that inside control on his right. He gets it. He gets it. Both uh, and Ethan breaks free. Now Ethan's got double underhooks. Good at double underhooks, and they step outside. Shake of hands. Here we go again. This is a 60 minutes match. Yanni pulls guard and strikes are only permissible or allowed to the body good strike there by ethan maybe he wants to use strikes to disguise his guard pass mix it up and he goes for his foot there but uh, ethan breaks free again knee insertion pass this time is a bit better control his knee is almost on the floor nice underhook there by yanni Okay, that knee shield is giving Ethan problems from stopping him from passing. He's got the hook. Nice body lock there by Ethan, but he lets go. Ethan again stepping in for an insertion pass. Ethan using strikes well. I don't know if they're distracting or they're causing any pain. Oh, nice step over pass. Oh, good. Capital Yanni capitalized quite well. Now he's on top. Okay, I think that's a point there for Yanni. Ethan looking to post up, see if he can sweep. Yanni's in his close guard. Both battling for wrist control or tricep control. Ethan goes under Yanni's guard. Yanni steps back. Maybe he's going to step back for a leg lock or a knee bar nice switch good control there by Ethan and now Ethan's on top Ethan again stepping in for his knee insertion pass oh nice inversion sweep trying to go behind Ethan Ethan steps away very evenly mashed right now. Ethan's looking for another strike, a strike to the body there. Good leg control by Yanni. See if he can make the most of it. But Ethan seems to be mixing up his attacks well. Again, going in for the knee insertion pass. Good strike. But Yanni seems to be using that knee shield to keep Ethan away. Very good use of that knee shield. Now he gets him almost in a modified half guard. Good inside control on the right. He changes it, going for his Ethan's wrist. They disengage. Ethan again, looking for that knee insertion pass for that knee shield. 
He steps over and he's able to pass. He's able to pass. Good chest to chest control. He's got his head down. Good head control, but the flexibility of Yanni gets him out of it. Good dexterity and momentum. Front headlock control. See if he can look for He's looking for a guillotine. Sits back for a guillotine. He's looking for that guillotine. And he lets go. Again, they disengage. Yeah, he's got an inside hook. Nice strike there again from the top by Ethan. Continuously striking the right side of Yanni. They're looking for wrist control. Nice head control there by Yanni. He's looking to get his hooks in. Recovers guard. Good mission control there by Yanni. He's uh, he's trying to look for that triangle. See if he can get the other knee through past that, past Ethan's arm. Almost now he's going for an omoplata. He's got it in just a bit low on his arm, and Ethan pulls out. The athleticism and physicality of Ethan is definitely helping him in this match. Ethan again looking for that knee insertion pass. Nice stop block there by Yanni. Again, Yanni using that right knee shield really well. He pushes him away, but Ethan's trying to close that distance. He's trying to pass again to Yanni's left. Yanni recovers without much issue. Nice step over pass there by Ethan. Got head control. They scramble. Nice back control. Oh, Ethan's behind him. Ethan's behind him. Yanni comes on top. Good scramble. Good scramble. And they roll out. Yanni Lekka, coached by Jed Hugh, the head coach at Elite Jiu Jitsu. And Ethan Weston being cornered by Jack Burrell, one of the coaches at the Resistance. Okay, they start in the same position. Ethan Weston behind him. He's got double arm control. As soon as he starts, he's going to look for that arm bar, which he is. Leg over the head. He's trying to rip that arm out. Yanni scrambles to his knees and he pulls his arm through. Now Yanni's on top, so Ethan just posts and stands it right back up. So again, they're going to wrestle. Nice head control there by Ethan. He lets go. The head control now by Yanni. Looking for good inside control. Both the same thing. Get underhooks. Looking for underhooks. Yanni again pulls guard. He seems to be comfortable fighting off his off on from the ground. Nice strike there by Ethan. Yanni trying to go behind him there. Ethan pressing down that knee. Again looking for that knee insertion pass. If he gets overhead control, steps over. Again, Yanni is able to get his knees in and recover without much issues. Those long limbs coming into good use. Ethan again looking for that knee insertion. But Yanni is using that right knee shield to stop him from coming through. He steps over looking for that cute jump over, jumping Kimura. They scramble front headlock position by Yanni. He can turn it into something. And Ethan breaks free. Yanni again decides to go for the seated guard. And Ethan is probably going to go for that same knee insertion pass to the left of Yanni. He's posting on his shoulder. Good strike there. Another good strike.
Yeah, he seems to be breathing a bit more heavily from his mouth open. This is a 60-minute match, so it's definitely going to start. Cardio and conditioning is definitely going to come into play here at some point. Nice strike there by Ethan. Yanni looking for those inside hooks. Nice sit through by Ethan. Got overhead control. But Yanni's able to scramble. They again disengage. Ethan again looking for that knee insertion pass, this time pulling underneath the head, neck control. Yeah, he looking for a sweep or some sort of attachment. Yeah, he gripping the leg of Ethan with some good strikes there, more heavy, heavy handed striking there by Ethan. Oh, he's got some sort of control. Yeah, he's got that nice bite on that right leg. Oh, Ethan going for his own heel hook. Yeah, and he scrambles out. Inside head control. Maybe is a guillotine there? No. Ethan again, looking for that knee insertion pass. Moving to the left. But Yanni seems to have the answer for it with that knee shield. Yanni going attacking his own, going for his own leg attack. See if he can go get behind Ethan, or at least come on top. Still looking to do a toe hold attempt there by Ethan. Nice toe hold. Yanni breaks through. And now he's on this. He could have gone for a two point, a point sweep if he gets on top. The referee hasn't given it to him yet. No point yet. Yeah, and he is now on top. He's trying to get rid of that arm. He sits back, deciding what to do. Both are looking for some sort of a leg control. Oh, there's a calf crusher attempt by Ethan. Nice calf crusher attempt. He's got a good triangle on his leg. That's tight, but I don't think Yanni's yeah, going to tap to that. Yeah, and he's now on top. He's looking to pummel in. Head control. He's trying to establish some sort of body control. Look for passing, but uh, Ethan seems to get out. Or is it, he comes out, oh, nice armbar, possibly an armbar. And Ethan now is on top. Again, no points. No points scored yet. Both... Both guys looking for nice guard pass attempt there by Ethan. By yeah, by Ethan. But it ends up in Yanni's close guard. Looking for wrist control. Ethan stands up. Yanni goes behind and Ethan. Let's see if he can get that leg. Ethan breaks free. Uh, both athletes are sweating quite heavily. It will be slippery to get any sort of bite or control on a limb. So, Yanni yeah, going for an inversion sweep, see if he can get, looking for his knee, Ethan's knee. Still attacking that leg. Oh, he's a nice, nice reverse heel hook. He's got a heel hook. No, Yanni yeah, breaks through. Yanni yeah, looking for his own leg attack and they roll out of bounds. The referee is going to start them again in the middle. I believe should be in the same position. They're starting from neutral. Again, they disengage. Yanni yeah, looking for that lead leg. So words of exchange there between the two. I guess they both are perhaps having a good time here. Nice strike there by Ethan. Striking well, another good strike. It doesn't seem to phase Yanni much. He's still attacking that lead leg. 
Ethan breaks, breaks, separates, and gets out of the way. Now, Yeti again trying to pull himself onto that leg, see if he can close that distance and get a good grip on Ethan's lead leg. Ethan again steps over, looking for that guard pass. But yet he seems to be recovering, seems to recover easily. Both athletes a little exhausted and pushing through. Okay, the referee again is going to stop them. Ask him to start in the middle. I believe Ethan there is feeling some wear and tear on that lead knee from constantly using it trying to pass and he goes again yep nearly passed nearly passed good head control but not enough contact with that chest to chest pressure and yeah and he's able to recover yeah and he again looking for that knee control leg control ethan again steps to his left trying to look for that pass Both styles seem to be cancelling the other one out a little bit. Nice inside hook, inside nice hook control. Reverse Telehiva by Yanni. Ethan sits back. I think he's looking for his own footlock. Both are seeing Yanni come, could come on top, perhaps make score a point. Yep, yeah, he posts well, but again, he's just nice pass there by Ethan. Ethan transitioned well, ended up in good side control. That's good chest-to-chest -chest pressure, head down. He's using his weight well, but Yanni yeah, just needs a little bit of space, and he recovers. Excellent use of leg work there by Yanni to recover guard, and Ethan again posting on his shoulder. Seeing if he could find an opening for that. Now he's pulling his head down, trying to set up that knee insertion pass to the to the left. Ethan steps over, looking again if he can get his left knee to the floor. He should be able to pass. Ethan again looking for an inversion. Yadi Amin. Ethan now posting on Yadi's ribs. See again if you can just pin him down a little bit, just enough for him to pass. Yeah, Ethan jumps over, has got a good inside hook, got a good inside hook. But Yanni is going for a shoulder lock on Ethan's left arm. But again, I don't think his positioning will allow him to do much with it. Ethan could turn this into a guard pass. Nice strikes there by Ethan. But Yanni again uses his hooks and gets uh, inside hooks with his legs. Ethan pushes him away to disengage, and the referee is going to start them again in the center of the mats. Shake of hands, and here we go again. Ethan again looking for that knee insertion. He gets it. Nice body control, and he's fighting for it and jumps over it. Yep, yep, good. Oh, wow, good. Darth choke attempts, got to, he's cinching it in, he's cinching good head control, he's got his arms tapped, he's got his arms locked in, he's trying to step over, he's trying to step over, yeah, and he's defending, he sits back and he switches it over, it's getting tighter and tighter, excellent control there by Ethan, he's on his hip, he's not letting go, and there's the tap, there's the tap by Yanni, Ethan secures the submission win. Excellent matchup there. Excellent back and forth, back and forth. A really good battle of strategy, a really good battle of styles. 
excellent matchup. Next up, we have Owen Jones versus Alex Ayonu. Owen Jones making a good name for himself in all the regional and local events. Also, a youngster, Owen Jones, weighing at 70 kg. His opponent, Alex Ayonu, a last minute replacement for Jay Herridge, and also weighing at 68 kg. and. Uh, both have entered onto the mats. The referee there, Jack Burrell, giving him some last piece of instructions. Okay, this is a combat jiu-jitsu match now. And away we go. All strikes allowed on the ground. All submissions. Both making their combat jiu-jitsu debut here. Alex known for his non-stop style very fast pace constantly attacking i beg your pardon that's owen i believe and a oh, nice single attempt pick up and turns it into a slam the arm bar attempt there by alex looking for that arm Owen's able to pull through nice strike attempt there by owen alex trying to get behind him trying to sweep underneath him Oh, he's got a nice bite on his heel. Owen pulls through. Now Owen's got a bite on his heel, and they scramble back onto their feet. Very fast-paced action. Alex looking for head control, snaps him down. But front headlock. Owen just sits back. Oh, fast, fast leg attack. He's got a good grip on his heel. He's looking for that heel hook. Alex sits back looking for his own heel. I believe he's past the knee line. His knee line is free. They're both looking. Alex now ends up on top. Oh, and again, he's deep inside. He's looking for that heel. He's got a good grip. Oh, they spin. They spin out of the way, but Owen's not letting go. He's got it. And I believe that was a tap. That was a tap by Owen Jones. So he got the heel hook submission. Just before they went out of bounds. Yep, that's a win for Owen Jones. It took him just over 10 minutes to submit Alex Ionu. Next up we have Mo Dougla versus Omar Sargent. 
Mo Dugla weighing in at 67 kilograms. Again, a last minute replacement for Dominic Dillon. I believe that's his student or training partner. Here we have Omar Sargent weighing at 70 kg with a wealth of MMA experience. Both making their combat Jiu Jitsu debut here at Alpha Grappling. Mo again, a very game, game competitor, was very happy to take this match up on a very short notice. Omar, who was scheduled to fight Dominic Dillon, was more than happy to go against Mo. Shake of hands and here we go. Again, this match is under full Luta Libre combat jiu-jitsu rules. All strikes allowed on the ground. So this should be an interesting matchup. See if Mo had enough time to prepare for Omar and Omar was able to prepare for Mo. Both looking for some sort of a tie up. Hand fighting. Mo Def Omar definitely seems to be the more physical of the two. Might have a slight weight advantage. As mentioned, they both have some MMA experience. It will be interesting to see how that transfers over into a combat jiu-jitsu or luta libre environment. Mo, oh, Mo had a good head control. Omar shoots, shoots for a double, sits back for a guard. He's got half guard. Mo's got a guillotine. I'm not sure how deep it is, but he's got a good guillotine control. Looking for that guillotine. Omar could turn this into a guard pass. He keeps stepping and he does. Oh, goes behind him. Oh, brutal strikes there. Continuously striking. Non stop strikes there by Omar. Repeatedly striking. Knee shield by Mo. I was hinting at Mo to defend himself. Mo really needs to cover up. He needs to use his elbows, arms to cover up some of those strikes. Body strikes. Strikes to the body by Omar, head strikes, repeated head strikes. Heavy, heavy hands there, heavy hands by Omar. A lot of strikes going through. You can see the ex MMA experience of Omar coming across here. Strikes to the ribs of Mo, strikes to the head, he's mixing them up. He just turns it into a guard pass, well-timed guard pass there by Omar. Mo's looking for a Kimura, Kimura lock, but I don't think his hips are far enough. He's, he's too close, almost underneath Omar. Omar spreading his body well, spreading himself out, continuously striking to the body. But at least with that hand trap, he's not going to get, he won't, Omar won't be able to strike him. Omar goes behind him. Mo's trapped that hand well from a Kimura grip to hand. Could Omar take his back? Probably not. Nice hand control. Omar's trying to free that hand of his. See if he can get that hand out so he can again continue to strike. He's resting his knee on the back of Mo. His hand is almost free. He's using that knee to wedge that hand through. He's got his hand out. Now he's going to use it to strike. Again, he's going to continuously look for openings. Omar using, sitting back into Mo's half guard and just happy to sit here and strike. Mo has to defend himself somehow. He has to look for openings himself or at least hit back strike back at Omar good strikes there by Mo by Omar I beg your pardon there must be there must be now oh, Mo must be feeling those they must be accumulating again more strikes by Omar Omar is actually hinting at Mo to defend himself a great sportsman a good sportsman there but uh, he's also looking for openings got ang controlling his ankle so he can't Pulse down on it and continuously striking to the body, striking to the head. Omar is definitely 
okay with this being a referee stoppage at some point because the way he's striking, he's not looking to grapple much. He's got that foot control with his left hand, putting his head low, he's trying to see if he can pass. Mo's got that inside hook with his left feet. Perhaps he can sweep Omar to his to his right. Omar is looking for a body lock perhaps, trying to control his hips, staying glued to him. While Mo is looking for that Kimura, he had it, he had it. Omar spins around, spins around, oh, oh he's threatened by it. Good Kimura control, he's got hand control there of Omar. We can end up on top here if you wanted. He's still trying to rip that arm out and get a shoulder lock. And uh, Omar again ends up on top. Good guillotine control there by Mo. Mo's got a guillotine attempt, but she doesn't see a, an arm over. Guillotine is hard to keep. Omar posting with his hands, posting with his arms. He's almost going to pull that head out using strikes well those are again very heavy strikes to the ribs of Mo and his head is out Omar again looking for body control he just wants to establish a good position so he can strike from it Mo again attacking Omar's right arm looking for that Kimura control Kimura lock more so to stop the strikes I believe Good control there by Mo. Omar again, see if he can get that arm free. He's going around the back of Mo. And with that arm trap, I don't think Omar can post and strike. He can only use that uh, left hand. But uh, Mo's keeping that arm locked, so he, there's not much space for Omar to strike. It's heavy, Still heavy strikes there on the ribs of Mo. Those will accumulate eventually. Omar almost passes, looking for a pass, but good good guard work there by Mose, keeping the hooks in, got the butterfly hooks in. Omar looking, sorry, Mo looking to see if he can rip that arm out for the Kimura. But position wise, this makes sense for Mo. He's stopping Omar from posting and striking. So it's definitely the right strategy there by Mo, but he has to look to mount his own attack Omar again posting with his left arm trying to create space excellent sweep there good sweep well timed sweep there by Mo and I believe that's a point to Mo Mo very composed even though he took a lot of some some strikes and some damage initially but he seems to be composed and seems, seems to be moving things forward almost has a guard pass almost has a guard pass attempt but uh, the long limbs of Omar nice strike there by Mo well timed now he seems to be defending even now he's on top the long limbs of Omar definitely playing to his advantage using that knee shield for space creating space for the strike nice strikes there from the bottom front hand and back hand by Mo Omar going for an overhead headlock he can use this to pass his guard which I think he will yeah, just let me know, yeah? He ends up in mount. Oh, he's got a guillotine, mounted guillotine. He's got a good grip, but I don't think he has his, uh, his arms locked. His hands are not locked. But he can keep this position and at least wear on Omar a little bit more. Still, the guillotine definitely will start to threaten Omar. He see if he can finish it. He's keeping it, but Omar seems too calm and composed to worry about this. I believe his hands are now locked. Mo has his hands locked. Good control there by Mo. Good John Hathaway there cornering Mo for this match. Very well known MMA fighter out of the UK. Still very active. All the hands are locked. Omar is definitely threatened there by that mounted guillotine. He's definitely, most definitely got a better, better uh, control of it now. Again, 
Omar is looking to bridge the way he's posting his feet. He's going to use those long legs for momentum and probably escape. Mo lets go of the guillotine, but he seems to be keeping the mount. He still has the mount. He seems reluctant. This is a good op space for Mo to strike. He can land some heavy strikes from this mounted position, but he seems to be looking for a submission. Some nice strikes over, but again, Omar just timed it. I think he was waiting for Mo to pose for some strikes, and he ended up on top. They roll out of the area. Very exciting matchup. A shake of hands. I think the referee is going to start them in a neutral position, not from the ground. Again, a shake of hands. Good sportsmanship from both sides. Omar very calm, he's been in these situations several times, this is another match for him. Seems to be exchanged, some exchange of words there. Mo again looking for an opening. I believe Omar is looking for a shoot. He's trying to shoot on him. He's changed levels a few times now. He posts on his shoulders. He's got hand control. Oh, nice shot, but uh, they end up out of bounds. Omar is very calculating, looking for, probably thinking his next set of moves. Yep, he shoots it again, but on another shoot, I think he's got a guillotine, but again, they end up out of bounds. Looking for hands, head control, nice head control there by Mo. He has to mount an offense of his own now, sooner or later. Mo again took this fight on a very short notice. Not sure if he had enough time to prepare for these rule sets, but he's definitely game. He's definitely in the match. Omar himself also had to prepare for two different opponents. Both are looking for some sort of an opening there. Nice head control attempt. Omar just leaning on Mo, making him carry his weight a little bit. Good wrestling there. Good wrestling tactic by Omar. Omar very composed, just looking, posting on the shoulder, well, nice shot there by Omar, but uh, again, problem with shooting on the edges, you normally will end up out of bounds, so it makes sense to shoot probably a bit more somewhere in the middle. The referee, I believe, will start them off in the same position which was Omar on top since he had the double leg on him. The score is one and one. The referee will make sure they're starting in exactly the same position they ended up in. Shake of hands and yeah, Mo posts and sits up. Both are again in the stand-up position. The experience of Omar is definitely coming through here, especially with the wrestling, the MMA style of wrestling. He seems to be more or less in control of these exchanges. Very calm. You see, I guess, there's an opening there. No, 
more like pushing him back again. He shoots in. He's got a deep on his single. Nice single. He jumps over for the guard pass. But oh, nice guillotine. He's got it deep. Mo's got a nice gu deep guillotine. And oh, good strikes there by Mo. Mixing it up on the guillotine to strikes. Omar seems to be covering his ear, his left ear. Perhaps those are from the strikes of Mo or something happened. Good strike there again by Mo. Mo mounting his own offense now in close guard of Omar. Omar seems to be very good at striking from his back as well. Again, he's a wealth of MMA experience coming over here, transferring over to this kind of event. Mo stands up, looks to post, but uh, Omar just pulls him back in. Oh, Mo needs to create space to mount uh, mount some strikes of his own. He needs to create some distance, but I think Omar is aware of that and he's keeping Mo close to him. Nice attempt there. But that head control is keeping it close, so without any space, Omar won't be at Mo. Sorry, won't be able to strike. But good strikes to the body there. At least now, knee shield by Omar should maybe not minimize the decisions because Mo can now strike. He can sit back and strike quite well from here. There's a good strike there by Mo. But Omar is kind of very competent from striking off his back as well. Mo stands up, looking for an arm bar perhaps. So Mo's left arm. A good adjustment there by Mo. Again, looking to pace, but uh, post, but uh, Omar just seems to be seems to strike well for both positions. No, Omar's got a nice inside hook. Again, he's striking well from all positions. Again, some exchange of words there. between the two but uh, oh, good strike again good strike nice strike by both at the top again, again looking for space oh beautiful strike there is well timed by Omar Omar seems to strike literally from any position again well thought it made the MMA experience definitely coming through here they get back on their feet Oh, well, they were having a word with some of the audience members. Very relaxed, very composed. The mind frame is very much there. Mo's got a head control. He really needs to make the most of it. Omar shoots in and pulls Mo into his guard. We have a closed guard now. Omar using the foot, using his closed guard, keeping Mo in his closed guard, but still striking very well from the bottom, using all the space he can to generate leverage uh, and space to strike, keeping Mo close to him. Mo really needs to push, create space, push back, and find space to strike. Mo using his head well to kind of ride into Omar, but Omar places his foot on the hip, maybe looking for an armbar here, or just looking to create space so he can continue to strike. Oh, heavy strikes there again by Omar, and Omar just continuously, where you, Mo strikes back though, Mo is able to strike back, See if he can find a guard pass. A very heavy strike there by Mo, by Omar, I beg your pardon. Omar again striking hard. Who's winning so far? It's a 60 minute time match, 60 minute match, so sure again fatigue will definitely come into play the conditioning of the two athletes with the strikes and the constant jiu-jitsu will definitely play a part here Omar striking well using the heel of his hands now the palm hard to strike Mo 
Ooh. A lot of strikes there. Back and forth strikes there between the two. strike again Omar using that overhead over the head position to strike even more really active striking there from Omar from his back he's continuously using all the angles available all the options available to land as many strikes as he can and Mo really needs to start defending himself maybe post Mo now sits up stands in his guard but I think Omar seems to be just very comfortable striking continuously from his close guard. Omar stretching his neck out, posting on his hip, again looking for space. Omar just seems to be very content looking for space to strike and not keen on any submissions. A lot of strikes there. Omar now looking for a sweep or perhaps a triangle attempt, but um, any space he has, he uses it to strike. Mo now looking to pass that guard. He's posting on the knee of Omar. Omar could go behind him, He's looking for a bad take, but he doesn't really need to put the hooks in or look for a submission. He's, he's perfectly fine just sitting here he's got all the space to strike and continue striking most hands up oh takedown attempt big takedown there by Omar straight from the body lock but didn't want to follow down follow down with him they're back on their feet looking for head control Oh, not sure what happened there. They disengaged. I think the referee tells us to carry on. Shake of hands. Mo seems to be... He's thrown his gum shield out. There seems to be... I think Mo just seems to be worn out now. He's beaten down quite a bit. Repeated strikes there by Omar. Omar continuously pounding away. The referee should really look to stop this now. There should be some sort of stop. I don't think Mo can defend himself. The left referee looking very closely. Referee looking very carefully at the action. Omar non-stop strikes. And I think that's it. That's it. The referee has indeed stopped it. That's the end of the match. Good sportsmanship there on the part of Omar. A valiant of a gallant effort there by Mo. Very gutsy performance there by Mo for stepping in and taking on a killer in Omar. And Omar is your winner there. guys next up we have Francesco Bartolotta again out of elite jiu-jitsu versus Bernardo Passos fighting out of fight zone this should be a very interesting matchup two very keen hungry competitors there we go shake of hands Bernardo very fast on his feet he's moving around more good head control there Francesco seems to have his head covered. I believe this is from an injury he sustained competing just yesterday, I believe. 
Francesco, a very active competitor, competes as often as he can, as much as he can. We believe in keeping himself sharp. Bernardo sits through for a very quick heel hook. He's got good inside control. He's got the hook, he follows through and he comes on top. Again, that's a point there for Bernardo. He sits back for a very tight heel hook. He's got a very good bite on it, but Francesco seems to be defending well. Bernardo again, he sits back from the same leg, going for a heel hook, but no, he ends up on top. Shake of hands, good sportsmanship there by both guys. Francesco now going for his own leg attack. He's got a heel attack on him. Inside foot control. I believe that was a point there earlier on for Bernardo, which hasn't been updated on the scoreboard. There was a point there for Bernardo, perhaps. But Francesco uh, on his back. Bernardo sits in, seeing if he almost looks for a guard pass. The guard recovery there, Francesco, is top notch. He's very good at recovering any guard attempts, guard pass attempts, really well. Bernardo sitting back. Oh, Francesco now reverses well. He's on top. Bernardo kicks him away and they roll out of bounds. Maybe they have to start again in the middle. This time both looking for both sit down. Nice hook attempt there by Bernardo. He's looking for a sweep, but. Francesco looking to see if he can perhaps sit back into a guard pass. Bernardo again looking for this inversion sweep. Nice hook there by Bernardo, outside hook. Controlling the ankle of Francesco. Francesco posting for that knee. Bernardo sits behind him. Yep, he's got that foot again. He's looking to sit up. Francesco looking for his own outside heel hook, almost there. Rolling, they're both Bernardo rolling to defend it, and they, as expected, roll out of bounds. Referee stops them. He's going to start them again, and here we go again. Francesco again sits back. Both guys enjoying themselves, I guess. Bernardo circling outside, away from the edge of the mats, bringing the action back into the middle. He sits down. Francesco again going inside Bernardo's leg, trying to get a good grip, which he does. Now he's going to look for his own footlock, but I think Bernardo is attacking well, Francesco's legs and he's in deep he's got a good triangle on Francesco's right leg he just needs to turn himself to get that control now he's looking for Francesco's right leg and he breaks away forcing Francesco to come on top and now Bernardo wrestles his way up back onto his feet he's looking at the referee to see if that was a point perhaps I guess a nice exchange. The referee did not score that. Both looking, that's actually a point for Francesco.
Francesco trying to grab the ankles at, for Bernardo. Bernardo seems to be stepping over. A lot of engaging and disengaging. Bernardo is seeing if he can close that distance. He seems to be very active on his feet, circling both ways. Now he sits down again, looking for a knee insertion pass, but uh, Francesco again. Oh, he's got a good control there on Bernardo's right leg, but just Bernardo pulls back. Again, Francesco looking for a sweep. Hand fighting, some hand fighting going on, some exchange of words. Both very nice guys, both compete a lot. Bernardo's here over here from Brazil, relocating to London. Very, very active competitor in his hometown of Brazil. Um, Francesco competes here as often as he can. Being on, I think, all the alpha grappling shows, he pushes Bernardo back, see if he can perhaps score, come on top. Bernardo steps over, nice, nice leg attack there by Francesco. Again, look for Bernardo, just pulls, clears that knee line and pulls away. Bernardo again sits down on his knees, see if he can, looking for an opening on Francesco. Francesco just seems to be very calm and content on passing, staying, keeping the match exactly where he is. Now just literally sitting back on his elbow. Bernardo definitely seems to be the one perhaps consuming a lot of energy, always on his feet. It's a 60 minute match with another 50 minutes to go. Francesco got his foot. Not in any position to finish it, see if he can wrestle it up, wrestle up from there, but no. Bernardo breaks free, some hand fighting. Bernardo again looking for some sort of an opening to pass. Francesco just kicks him away. See if he can sweep him that way, but no. Again, some words are being exchanged between the two. I'm sure it's all very friendly. Francesco now has got inside hook. He's got looking for a sweep. He tries to sit up. He's got good, and Bernardo just freezes legs and steps back. Francesco again is excellent at getting that leg, the way he goes behind and traps it really well. And this time he's got a much better bite on it, but uh, Bernardo seems to be quite good at just clearing that knee line and escaping. Both now is trying to feel the effect of this pace. 60 minute match, out of 50 minutes to go. The score is 2-1 to Francesco. Bernardo now sits back for his own foot lock. See if he can get that straight ankle lock. But uh, Francesco now sits up, pushes Bernardo back. Bernardo now rolling, rolling, and see if he can get some sort of a position. Perhaps a sweep point there for Bernardo, but no, the referee doesn't give it. Starts him off again in the middle. Shake of hands. Francesco is using his similar style he's very comfortable with from his back or from his seated position. 
looking for sweeps, constantly looking for sweeps, waiting for the opponent to come to him. And Bernardo seems to be keeping a bit of a distance, not so keen on engaging from the top, so... Bernardo steps on Francesco's ankle, perhaps to stop him from moving or stop that leg. No, for no, he steps in again, but uh, this position again is not going to help Bernardo much. He's too far away to pummel underneath the legs or go over the legs of Francesco. Francesco now stands up, perhaps a point. They both jump at the same time into a guard position. Again, Francesco stands up. Now Francesco see if he can mount an offense from the top. Nice. Bernardo having a great time there. <laughs> oh, nice entry there. Nice entry there by Bernardo. He comes on top. Perhaps so they, they roll out of bounds. Perhaps a sweep point there for Bernardo. I'm sure the referee gave it to him. No, perhaps because they rolled out. Yep, that's a point there for Bernardo. The score is now 2-2. Two, two, even. So Bernardo again going for his inverted entry. Attacking the left leg. But Francesco going for his own straight ankle lock. Both going for their own version of the ankle lock. However, both are reluctant to go on top or go from the from a guard pausing position. Bernardo again attacking that left leg, going for an outside heel hook. saying yep go for it if you can both seem to be looking for some sort of an entry into a leg attack here and constantly talking to each other some definitely some words are being exchanged some conversation is being had Bernardo now going underneath Francesco's right leg looking for some sort of a inside foot lock again looking for a straight ankle lock but it seems like Francesco has unbreakable legs or he seems to have his defender now Francesco going for his own foot lock see if he can get that outside heel hook and Bernardo just clears that leg quickly both seems to have a similar game plan at the moment want to attack each other's legs neither is looking to pass or dominate from the top Bernardo again looking for some sort of footlock Francesco kind of like waiting to see what Bernardo is going to do next and Bernardo rolls out of bounds again they start in the middle referee starts them off again same position. Both will eventually start to feel the toll of this, a 60 minute match. Again, cardio and conditioning and will definitely play a role or play a part here at some point. Francesco going for his own straight ankle lock. He's got good, good controls. Good, he's trying to sit back trying to rip it but Bernardo seems to be defending well now Bernardo going for his own heel hook there both seem to be waiting similar styles both seem to have a very similar leg attacking style 
uh, not a lot of footage on Bernardo at the moment so Francesco been competing very often Bernardo going for an inversion he's got an inside outside in hook Francesco just literally breaks three again Bernardo's inverting again straight into a good leg position but now Francesco's got his heel Francesco but uh, Bernardo just again pulls that leg back pulls free both swaying profusely Again, Francesco attacking his leg. Yeah, similar styles of stalemate is common. Now, Bernardo's got a, a straight ankle lock. Straight ankle lock, he's really going for it. He's really pulling it back, but Francesco seems to be rolling with it and defending it really, really well. Now, Francesco's got his own leg attack. He's in deep, but uh, Bernardo just clears his leg easily. Francesco had to took a quick glance at his corner. Maybe he wants to see what one of his, what his coach was saying. Bernardo now playing with Francesco, trying to lure him in. And they're back into a neutral position. Bernardo stands up, perhaps looking to see if he can see it. it's the guard pass there. Francesco just waiting to see what Bernardo has to offer from here now. Bernardo again looking for Guard pass, Francesco is trying to look for a sweep, see if he can get his foot behind Bernardo's ankles and sweep him. Bernardo just <laughs> running or hip hopping out of, out of the way, hopping out of the way. And uh, again, right where it was before. Francesco again looking for some sort of a sweep. Bernardo really needs to pin one of his legs down and try to close that gap. Maybe try to control Francesco's hips if he wants to guard past that guard or get into a dominant position. But uh, this sort of space or trying to attack from this much of a distance is not really going to help Bernardo much. He needs to really clamp down on Francesco's hips or his legs to get a good guard pass entry. Uh, otherwise, this is pretty much Francesco's game. He can stay here all day, uh, recover and look for sweeps. So Bernardo has to turn this more into a, a wrestling match. Again, Francesco on the other hand perhaps could look to wrestle up, maybe trap a leg of Bernardo and try to come come on top and score some points that way. Keeping in mind Francesco just competed yesterday in Liverpool, so which I believe was an eight man tournament for him to literally be ready again the next day and compete at this level at this pace is quite um, quite a testimony to how athletic and fit this guy is 
Bernardo now looking for a a post on Francesco's neck for a while. Not know what he had in mind, but at least his leg, his position, his hips a bit better and closer to Francesco's hips. He just needs to sit down a bit more and control. Maybe go for a body lock from the top, gain better control of Francesco's hips and then look to pass. From this position, this is pretty much Francesco's game all day. Well, that's a good step over attempt there by Bernardo, but uh, Francesco just seems to recover and bring it back here. Bernardo again, encouraging Francesco to come on, shake of hands. Uh, there's a knee shield by Francesco, who's really good at this, steps over, almost a guard pass there by Bernardo, but no, he, Francesco threatened his legs and he leaps out of the way. Francesco looking for some sort of hand tie up while Bernardo is looking to get his own hand control. Francesco up with his elbow, he's always good at that position. He's able to sweep and recover well. Possibly a sweep there by Francesco, but Bernardo gets out of the way. Another sweep attempt, but uh, Bernardo posting on Francesco's legs. Again, Bernardo will not be able to pass Francesco's guard standing up. He has to close the gap and look to control the hips of Francesco somehow. Francesco going f inside the leg, probably looking for a sweep or to tie up. Oh, a nice sweep attempt there by Francesco, but Bernardo was able to gain his feet. Knee insertion pass. In French, oh. Possibly a straight ankle lock. He's got a good girl. Bernardo steps over, but Bernardo fast looking for angles perhaps from this position, seeing if he could get Francesco to commit to a leg lock. But by the looks of it, Francesco seems to be on the same wavelength and. Uh, seeing what's coming his way. Bernardo Francis kicks that leg free. Go for a hand hand tie up. Francesco again was looking to attack Bernardo's right leg, but oh big step over there by Bernardo. Good attempt. Good guard pass attempt by Bernardo and Francesco almost swept him. Probably not enough for a point for Bernardo. He didn't really keep that guard pass or side control long enough. But uh, that's what Bernardo really needs to do, is to get him close and clear the hips of Francesco uh, to score a point. From this position, this is Francesco's world all day. Francesco again looking to tie up one of Bernardo's legs. Bernardo now baiting in Francesco a little, asking him to take his back. Francesco is a very physical guy, very strong guy. He was able to push off and kick away Bernardo quite easily with his legs and hands. Bernardo smiling a little bit. I'm sure again, some they're talking to each other. So I'm sure they're saying something funny. Some nice exchange there. But I'm sure they both realize they have to do something to win this. Reaching almost the halfway mark with 34 minutes left.
Bernardo perhaps needs to post down on Francesco's legs and see if he can pass that way. Francesco again just looking for a sweep of his own. He's got that tricep trapped. He's got the oh nice sweep attempt there by Francesco. Perhaps if he can come on top, he might score. But he decides to go for Bernardo's uh, right ankle. He still has it. He still has it. So maybe Bernardo steps over, but uh, again, Francesco really quick to recover. Perhaps Bernardo now thinking what he has to do to pass the guard of Francesco. Again, Bernardo has to adapt a little bit to this guard of Francesco. Look to pass for a much tighter control. Perhaps even oh, kick. Uh, Francesco kicks him back, tries to come on top, but uh, Bernardo now talking to the referee, seeing there's a point there. And he's telling, perhaps he's protesting a point or expecting a point for that, or the other way around, but uh, no, no point scored. Francesco now has got an inside hook, but not using his hands perhaps to keep a good control of Bernardo's ankles. I mean, we all know you have to use both. The legs are by themselves won't do much. You've got to use your hands as well. So, uh, some hand fighting there. I think Francesco now looking for some sort of a sweep. Bernardo had his ankle there. Francesco's right ankle for a moment, but let go. Knee shield there by Francesco. He's probably going to look for Bernardo's right leg again if he gets it. Not sure how deep he is on it, but uh, I don't think. Oh, now Bernardo going for his own leg attack. And uh, yeah, Bernardo very fast, very quick to escape his leg and back into the center of the mats. Bernardo now luring him on a little bit, encouraging him to attack that lead leg of his. As we reach the halfway mark, the score is still 2-2. Two, 2 to two. Bart and 2 to Bernardo. Bernardo now looking for... Francesco has got a nice outside hook. Again, not using his hands as much. Oh, it's nice sweep there, nice sweep there by Francesco. Francesco jumps capitalized but Bernardo quite being quite savvy escapes out of the mats making sure no point or was scored or Francesco doesn't have an opportunity to come on top now Bernardo again looking to pass but he think he's realizing he has a better chances of passing from his knees than from standing but Francesco seems to be excellent at posting and moving his hips out of danger and creating space, the space he needs to implement his own style. Francesco now, oh sorry, Bernardo now back on his knees. Francesco posts on his elbow. Bernardo look, uh, looking for, again, Francesco's got a straight ankle lock. They got nice step over there by Bernardo, nice step over pass, but again, too much space for Francesco to move his hips and recover. Bernardo's trying to increase the pace, move a bit more, but I don't think this will work against uh, an experienced grappler like Francesco. He's got a nice outside hook. He's like, again, looking for Bernardo's tricep. Posting on each other's throats again. Not sure how, how effective that would be. Francesco looking for a sweep. Bernardo finds his feet. Bernardo briefly went for his own footlock there.
Bernardo again playing with Bart a little bit perhaps lure, try to distract him or lure him in or Francesco now has got again that inside hook he's probably going to attack Bernardo's outside leg but uh, they seem to be just cancelling each other out right now Francesco's attacks seem to be cancelling the attacks of Bernardo and the defences as well Bernardo again steps in without oh kick back by Francesco Francesco again looking for going outside the leg, right leg of Bernardo but oh now he's in deep very deep good scramble good scramble there I think Francesco saw an opportunity he went for it fast but uh, Bernardo was equally fast in getting out of it I think Francesco has been looking for that right leg of Bernardo all throughout the match and again he's going to see if he can find it yeah he's got it again well, this nice guard pass, nice guard pass attempt there by Bernardo. He just stepped over, a well timed, well timed guard pass for Bernardo. But again, without the, without the pressure and body control, it's hard to capitalize. I think Bernardo instead of trying to jumping over his guard, he should try to perhaps pass a bit more slowly. With better control. Again, Francesco going underneath, trying to attack that right leg of. Bernardo that good move there by Bernardo trying to go underneath the guard of Francesco's just seems like Francesco can stay here all day he's very comfortable fighting from this position while Bernardo needs to change tactics I guess Bernardo again trying to trap that left leg in his own foot but Francesco aware of what's going on Bernardo attacking that lead leg. Shake of hands. Again, this is a case of two styles perhaps cancelling each other out a little bit. Bernardo trying to pass from his feet and Francesco just being very comfortable fighting off his back. and They sometimes styles do nice sweep there by Francesco. Maybe if it came on top, he could have scored. Bernardo now going for his again for his own footlock. But Francesco just positions his hips and gets out of. He's got again going in deep on Bernardo's right leg. Again, he's got it. He's not, you know, and he comes. Will he be able to capitalize? No. But uh, Bernardo there protesting. That was a point for him since he recovered. But the referee is not scoring that. I think Francesco is also expecting. A point but no still 2-2 two, two. we are 35 minutes in Francesco again looking for space looking to attack that right leg Bernardo definitely more slipperier now both both fighters are much more slipperier with the, the mats much more slippery as well so it will be hard to get a submission or secure a position long enough Francesco seems to usually compete without a t-shirt or a rash guard which makes it even more difficult to get a grip on him Francesco again looking for that tricep control, single arm sweep. He's got the hook, he's got a nice control of Bernardo's right leg again. Go to behind, see if he can turn it into something, perhaps a sweep, or he can sit up from here. I don't see a submission. Nice guard pass attempt, jump, 
jumping guard pass or step over guard pass by Bernardo but uh, Francesco again as slippery as it is was he able to escape He tries the same guard step or guard pass, but uh, Francesco just seems to be ready for it. Some hand fighting is going on again. He posts again. He steps, tries the same pass, but okay, Francesco's got a nice ankle ankle lock, but uh, again. Francesco trying to come on top, seeing if there's a sweep there, but no, the referee didn't give it. Bernardo was able to scramble away. Again, Bernardo's got a better chance of passing Francesco's guard if he just perhaps attempts it, attempts it more from the leading position like now and passing from here is, he probably has a high probability than passing from his feet but Francesco is really crossly controlling the, the left hand of Bernardo and the right hand so he can't get any head control and he pushes him back kicks him back see if he can come on top Nice kick back sweep there by Francesco, but no, he didn't. Perhaps that could have been a point there for Francesco if he decided to come on top, but. Uh, Francesco again positioning his feet behind the ankles, behind the feet of Bernardo, see if he can get a, a sweep, trip sweep going, but. Uh, no, not happening. Bernardo trying to pummel inside that left leg of Francesco. Francesco goes in deep and again going for that outside heel hook. Nice leg attack there by Francesco. I don't think he's deep enough. And it being as slippery as it is, Bernardo is able to pull through, but Francesco seems to be persisting. Approximately 20 minutes left in this matchup. The score is still 2 2. Now Bernardo going back perhaps for a straight ankle lock, but. Nice leg entry there by Francesco. Bernardo again steps away. It being as slippery as it is, it'll be difficult for both guys now to get any sort of a attack or a grip on anything. Bernardo now trying to get close to Francesco, trying to close the space as much as he can. But Francesco is really crafty with his legs and able to Get that ankle control of Bernardo. Now he's just trying to get his legs through so he can get some sort of a triangle lock on his leg. He's got a straight ankle foot. He's got a straight ankle foot on Bernardo. He's he's wrenching it. He's pulling well, but I think Bernardo's not threatened much by it. Nice sweep attempt in Bernardo. Francesco can stand up and oh, almost good wrestle up there by Francesco. He had foot control. Could have almost scored a point there. Bernardo getting rid of some of his ankle support, some of the wraps around his ankles. Francesco wondering why, what's going on. Francesco's coach, Jed Hugh, in the corner saying, you got to attack now, you got 20 minutes. I think they realize if the score is even at 2-2. Two, two. 
nice jumping pass there attempt there by Bernardo again but uh, Francesco again being so comfortable here he knows how to counter almost had a sweep there 19 minutes left Bernardo again oh sorry Francesco again looking for that right leg of Bernardo but I think Bernardo's expecting it now quite well quite clearly again a jumping pass but no it's just uh, Francesco's hips are too mobile nice entry there attempt there by Francesco but back to where they were Francesco again trying to get behind Bernardo but Bernardo is fast on his feet now Bernardo is in the half guard of Francesco Francesco just kicks him away which I think is what he's been doing Bernardo sits back for a straight ankle lock he goes for his own heel hook pushes him away perhaps that could have been the, well, the rest the roll out of the area Bernardo again looking for the referee maybe some sort of a point being scored but Yep, he's again asking the referee why don't I have a point or protesting for a point. Some sort of discussion happening between the referee and Bernardo. Not sure who that point was for or was there a point. Bernardo now looks to be pacing a bit more. Looking to pass that guard. Actually, that was a point for Francesco so now the score is 3-2 there was a score there for Francesco Bernardo steps over looking for a pass it's going to be very hard now with the slippery the slippery mats to pass the guard or get any sort of submission going the, you can see Bernardo is definitely a bit frustrated. He's looking at the referee continuously, He's looking to pass. Bernardo pinning down the right, the left leg of Francesco, see if he trap it perhaps with his right knee and go for a step over pass or a step through knee insertion pass, but. Francesco's right shielding well with his right with his right leg. Bernardo steps over, perhaps for a toe hold. Oh, nice sweep there! Nice sweep there by Francesco, but uh, I don't think he was able to capitalize. Again, same sweep by Francesco, but Bernardo was just quick to keep the space. Francesco trying that sweep repeatedly now. Perhaps he sees an opening in Bernardo's game where that sweep is available. And there he goes again. That's the third, I think, fourth time he's tried it, but he has to really come on top or wrestle up onto his knees at least to score a point and keep Bernardo on the ground. Francesco now again attacking that right leg of Bernardo, seeing if he can. And he tried that same sweep again, but this time Bernardo just cleared his back leg. 15 minutes left, the score is 3 2 to Francesco.
Bernardo really has to mount some sort of an offense or score here to even up the score at least. Otherwise, Francesco should stay here for the rest of the 15 minutes or 14 minutes and continue just defending and win the match as he has a point lead. So the onus now is on Bernardo. There's a sweep there by Francesco. If he can wrestle up, he's got it. He's got the leg. The referee's allowing him. Went for a single leg trip, but uh, Bernardo kept his, ba uh, his base. Again, Bernardo's looking for an opening perhaps, but uh, he's sitting into the into the guard now. Francesco again. Francesco pushes it back. He's got his ankle. There's a leg trip. Perhaps that's a score. Uh, the referee's given it. The referee's given that. I believe. That was a point there for Francesco. Yeah, the gap is now even widened. So it's 4-2 to Francesco. Bernardo has 30 minutes to either even up the score or try to win this. But uh, there was an excellent move there by Francesco. Oh, I think that's a, perhaps a point there for Bernardo. Bernardo now sitting back for his own ankle lock, going for a heel hook, but excellent defense there for Francesco yep that was the point so now the score is 4-3 Bernardo needs another guard pass attempt or a sweep to even up the score make it 4-4 he's got just over 12 minutes left both athletes now feeling the pace feeling the pressure that was a that was a point there for Francesco I believe because he's I believe that was a sweep of sorts because he was to come onto his he was able to get onto his knees. So again the gap has widened five three in favour of Francesco. In some ways a very good tactical battle and a good strategy there by Francesco, knowing when to score and how to score and looking for the openings to keep racking up those points. Now he's on top, he's trying to I believe he has to pass but again the onus now the pressure is on French, uh, Bernardo to uh, to close that gap in points and see if he can win this with over just over 10 minutes left they roll out of bounds both trying to beat the other to, to a guard pull see if they can score but uh The guard style of Bernardo a bit different from Francesco's. He's a bit more looking for more of a sweeping style in version sweeps, but Fran Francesco doesn't really have to do much in some ways. He can stay here and uh, keep this distance and could win this match with the 10 minutes remaining as long as he doesn't get swept or submitted. Nice entry there by Bernardo if he can get on top. Perhaps that would have been a point. Again, Bernardo going for that leg entry. He had it. Bernardo continuously looking for that. He's got it again. He inverts. I don't think he's deep enough. Francesco wisely gets his knee out the way and is able to come back onto his knees. So I think Francesco seems to be wise to these leg, leg entries by Bernardo. Like I said, Bernardo is, is the onus now, has, to, has the onus on him on winning this or scoring otherwise Francesco is now walking away with this with a two point lead 
Francesco now tries, goes for a back take with a straight ankle lock attempt by straight ankle lock attempt by Bernardo, but yeah, Francesco was able to escape without much issues. Francesco I think, slips there for a moment. You can see that Bernardo is feeling the frustration a little bit. He knows he has to score something. He has to score. So again, Bernardo going for that sweep. He's got the foot. If he gets up, perhaps has a sweep. Bernardo, but no, going for that heel hook. But Francesco is able to escape. I don't know, you're going for the inversion sweep, inversion entry. I'm not sure how committed Francesco is to passing. He is literally doesn't have to worry much for another eight minutes. Bernardo's got a nice control, but Francesco again very wisely gets his knee out of the way. He's able to escape that knee, so the leg attack literally is just cancelled. Any footlock is cancelled, but almost when that knee's out of the way, the, the knee line's cleared. With seven and a half minutes left. Good Francesco with a five to three lead. And Bernardo, I think, is trying the same leg attacks repeatedly, but Francesco is seeing them a mile away. He sees them coming. Perhaps Bernardo can turn this into a wrestling match and try to wrestle Francesco to the ground and maybe score points that way. Bernardo again looking for that outside leg entry. He's got that hook in, but again, he's just too far, and Francesco's knee is too far away for him to get a bite on it. But just over five minutes left. Nice X control, but Francesco just steps over. Shake of hands, good sportsmanship there. But I'm sure Bernardo is aware that he's down two points and Francesco is pretty much running away with the lead right now. Again, going for that outside leg control, he's got the heel, got a good heel control, but Francesco going for his own leg attack. The experience Francesco has accumulated, almost not even over a long period of time, perhaps a year or a year and a half of constantly competing up and down the country every other weekend or every weekend has definitely played a part in this in this match with his strategy of knowing when to score and when not to score and knowing when to defend and when not to defend. So he's played a really good chess game. Bernardo now trying to perhaps or Francesco in but uh, I'm sure Bernard Francesco is aware he's ahead in points and doesn't have to take much risk at this stage Francesco Bernardo's got a, again an outside hook but as long as Fred Bart keeps his knee away uh, it's far enough. He's got nothing to worry about, as you can tell from his body language. He's very relaxed. He knows he's in a comfortable lead. He just has to carry on doing what he's doing and evading the attacks of Bernardo. As long as he doesn't get tied up in anything, 
he's fine. Francesco oh, almost that possibly would have been a sweep for Bernardo but again the experience of Francesco coming into play he knew exactly where he was and what was at risk so he was able to clear that leg and create the space he needs again possibly a leg sweep there a sweep attempt there but again Bernardo Francesco knows what to do and where to do it Bernardo is realizing that this is kind of running away from him now with three and a half minutes left. Again, some, some discussions happening, they're talking to each other. Bernardo going for the same leg sweep, but no. Francesco just almost has figured it out. No serious guard pass attempt there by Francesco. I think he realizes he doesn't have to do much. I'm sure he's feeling it in his back right now. <laughs> This time Bernardo's a bit deep, but again, Francesco very good at getting his legs out of the way, creating the space he needs to stay out of any danger. Bernardo should really look to wrestle up a bit more, grab that leg and maybe vary his attack, try something different. Like now, that possibly would have been a sweep. Yep, that's a sweep for Bernardo. That's one point, so he's closed the gap a little bit. The score is now 5-4. Francesco asking his corner, was that a sweep? He's got two minutes, two and a half minutes left to make a score another point and even up the score. But again, with a one point lead, perhaps that's what Francesco needs to win this. Oh, nice sweep attempt there, but again, no score, not scored, purely because Francesco wasn't able to get up. Bernardo being on top, perhaps he will try to pass a bit more. Good sweep there for Francesco, but Bernardo now attacking that foot. Again, Francesco making sure his knee is far, far away. Francesco thinking that was a sweep, looking at, looking at the referee. Bernardo again scrambling now, looking to score that one point. Sitting back for a straight ankle lock. I'm sure by now he's realized that probably won't work. He's really wrenching on it, but Francesco again is able to get out of it without any issues. Seems like Francesco's had that position done to him several times. Got a minute left. The score is 5 4 to Francesco. Perhaps Bernardo realizes this and he has to go for something. Perhaps submission might not be the best option or maybe it is. Again, going for a straight ankle lock. Francesco now comes up onto his knees. If he can score this, that could be a point. But no. Bernardo now almost Luring on Francesco to attack his legs. This could be a sweep for Francesco, but no. 15 seconds left. I think Bernardo realizes he has to score quick. He's got a nice knee trap going with his right knee. But Francesco's tie, and there it is. That's time. 60 minutes up. A very well fought competitive match and I'm sure these two will see each other again down the line in a rematch at some point both very active competitors both very game and a very even match but this one goes to Francesco with a one point lead the score being five to four
Next up, we have Danny Tyler and John Hathaway. Both John, obviously, very well known for, as an MMA competitor from the UFC, and is kind of making a comeback in some ways, more active in submission grappling. And here we go, shake of hands. Danny Tyler, a black belt under Alliance. John Hathaway, a brown belt under Tenth Planet. Fighting out of London Shoot Fighters, a very well-known stable of MMA fighters for many years. John looking for that head control, double head tie-up, kind of blocking the inside control of Danny. He's got a really strong head control grip there. John is a wrestling coach at uh, Tenth Planet London, so very well versed in wrestling of course training training out of london shoot fighters who are also known for their mma style wrestling coaching and strategy again john using that head tie up really well some hand fighting danny on the other hand was very keen for this matchup was uh, was very happy and excited to face john uh, under these rule sets, Combat Jiu Jitsu Luta Libre rule sets. This again is under full Combat Jiu Jitsu rules, all strikes allowed on the ground. It's a 60 minute time limit. But an inside hook, inside uh, control, under under control there by John, and let uh, Danny is able to get out of it. Again, John gets that inside control with a head tie up. Wrestling 101, good, good inside control, under control, Danny again is able to get out of it. John really using that, putting, putting weight on the back of the head of Danny. This will start to fatigue Danny eventually as the match goes on. John now, again got that inside control, steps to the side. He's got both underhooks. Got both underhooks well. He's trying to pull his hips in. Goes for a trip. Beautiful trip there. Inside leg trip by John. Ends up straight into Danny's half guard. That's the point there for John. He's got head control. John actively throwing in some slaps. Having a word with the referee about what's allowed and what's not allowed. They're both having a word with the ref. Then he's got inside hook, keeping John close to him so he doesn't have the space to, to throw in more strikes, to land more strikes. He's trying to recover guard. Good hip movement there by Daddy. He's able to get both butterfly hooks in. Both hooks are in now. Got overarm controls, going for a sweep, butterfly sweep, but John's got excellent base. Using that tripod base, he's able to base himself out. He's got wrist control now, so a much better option for Daddy going for that wrist control, but John's able to free out of it. Nice uh, strike there, slap there by Daddy from the bottom. John throws out of his own from the top. Looking for that butterfly sweep again. Good strikes there by Danny using the strikes from the bottom again. Underhook by Danny, he's still got that hook in. John steps over into and drops his weight onto his left hip, looking for a guard pass. Excellent strikes there by Danny. Yep, good recovery there, good guard recovery. He's got over overarm control, both butterfly hooks in his. Definitely look for a swim, good elevation. Excellent, the base of John is too much and he's able to recover, recover guard really well. Nice strikes there from John. He's trying to free that right arm out. He's able to get it out now. He can actually use that to strike, pulling down on Danny's head. Using his chin as well to pull down on him. Continuously pulling now, he's trying to look to pass. Nice strike there by John, by Danny. They both smile, good sportsmanship. 
I guess they're both having a good time. Nice guard pass attempt there by Joan, but uh, good guard recovery there by Danny. He's got that hook in. He's got the overarm control. He's trying to keep himself close to him so Joan doesn't have the space to strike. Again, Joan is able to pull that arm out. They scramble to their feet. Shake of hands, and they carry on. Again, John going for that head tie up, putting a lot of weight on Danny's head. Visual again, fatigue him at some point, or will definitely tire him out, make him carry all his weight. He sneaks in that underhook, the right underhook is in. Danny going for his own underhook on the left side of John. But that head control is going for a foot sweep, but he saw that coming again, pulling down his head. Again, excellent head control there by John. John pulling down his head again. He's putting him down. Now he's got that underhook. That underhook on the right side. He lets go of it. John Hathaway has been here many times in all kinds of environments. All kind of grappling and fighting combat sports scenarios. So he's sure this is uh, nothing new for him. Danny's trying to feel, I guess, some of the, the wear and tear of that head control and pulling down the head by John he's going for his own head control head tie up there he's going for an inside hook inside hook on Danny's left side he lets go of it or Danny kind of breaks free Nice leg attack, single legs attempt by that he almost had it. He almost had it, but John saw that coming. Again, putting down on the head. And then it, this will definitely start to wear on him. This will definitely start to tire him out. Him to carry all of that weight. And now he's got inside control again. Got shrugs him. His arms are locked, picks him up. He's going to go with the same sweep and takes him down. Straight away into side control. Really effective uh, takedown there by John Hathaway. Ends up into side control of Danny Tyler and he's got the hook in. Danny has his left hook in. Perhaps he can work a sweep or perhaps even recover guard, but the pressure, the hip pressure, and there it is, past his guard completely. You got a modified side control. Perfect position to landing some strikes as Danny Tyler doesn't have many much defense there. Now into normal side control, excellent pressure. He's got that right. His John has his right arm deep inside, hooked in, covering the mouth, stopping the probably the breathing, suffocating Danny. But Danny does a great job, great job of recovering guard, puts John back into his guard. John with a body lock stopping his hips from escaping. John covering face. Some good strikes there from the top there by John. Good strikes. Then he's able to get his underhook with his left leg as deep on his hip. Some strikes from the bottom. He just has to get nice Hip, hip movement by Danny is able to get the hips and recovery good recovery there by Danny a nice slap there nice leg attack leg attack Ooh, nice control there by John but Danny ends up on top 
with both of John's legs. He can keep side control. Nice sit up there. John is able to sit up and able to oh, good slap, good strike there by John. Wrestles him to the ground and again good strike from the bottom. From here he's going to pick him up and an amazing takedown. Good leg sweep, hip control takedown, body lock takedown there by John. Straight into side control again. John again in perfect position, modified side control, or modified scarf control, and I think he's going for a crucifix where he's going to trap the right arm of Danny, and he's already got the other arm trapped. He's going to spread his body weight. Literally, it will be in a crucifix position, and Danny won't have any way to defend any strikes from here. He's pushing down on his head, looking for space. Danny's trying to get away. Good hip movement there but I think the pressure and the top control of John is a bit too much some strikes being landed low strikes being landed by John he goes for a necktie control or head and arm choke I think he's got it it's got a head and arm choke in the dash choke is in a lot of pressure there from the top by John Danny gets a hook in, but I don't think it's going to be enough. There's too much pressure there, and uh, Danny taps. He gets the tap. John taps. Uh, John gets the tap. Danny Tyler taps that choke. Great match. Great matchup. Good back and forth. And here's your winner, John Hathaway. Next up, we have Samuel Carras versus Devante Johnson Rose. The original opponent of Samuel unfortunately was able to pull out, was able not able to attend, so Devante Rose stepped in a short notice, and here we go. Both big guys, super heavyweights. Devante has got a nice single leg on Samuel. He's got a good grip between his legs. Nice single leg. Samuel goes for a guillotine. He uses it for a guillotine. A guillotine attack. Samuel defending that single leg by placing his foot outside. And now they end up in a head and arm tie-up. Oh, Devante almost out of the mats. Touch of hands, and here they go again. Oh, nice single leg back take. Arm drag to a back take by Samuel. Samuel now has got the hook in, He's taken his back. He's got the second hook in as well, right behind him, but it seems to be going for a different move altogether, not for a back take. Seems to be going in for a twister. He's trying to get his hands behind, clasped behind the head of Devante and trying to go for a twister lock here. This could be very painful. Devante's... Oh, there it is. There's the tap. Quick work by Samuel. Of course, Devante literally stepped in on a 12-hour notice. Didn't have any time to prepare. But either way, here's your winner, Samuel Karras, in very impressive fashion.